All right, space fans, let's take a fast trip to a cosmic neighbor you've probably heard of, Gliese 3618. Yeah, it sounds like a serial number on your microwave, but trust me, this star is way cooler. So where is Gliese 3618 hiding in the galaxy? It's chilling about 16 light years away from Earth in the constellation Carina. That's practically next door in space terms. Now Gliese 3618 is a red dwarf star. Think of it as the slow burn cousin in the stellar family. It's way dimmer and smaller than our sun, but these red dwarfs are famous for living pretty much forever. Like, if the universe were a Star Trek episode, red dwarfs would be playing the long game while our own sun is just a guest star. But here's the real question. Any planets? Aliens? Vulcans trying to make first contact? Well, as of right now, astronomers haven't spotted any exoplanets orbiting Gliese 3618 yet. But, red dwarfs like Gliese 3618 are prime targets in the search for habitable worlds, because their small size makes it easier to spot little planets zipping around them. So if new telescopes find an Earth-like world here, you heard it here first. And what about dusty disks or planets in the making? So far, there's no sign of a protoplanetary disk at Gliese 3618, it's a pretty chill star, not much drama, but hey, space is full of surprises. Now for my Star Trek fans out there, remember how Captain Picard was always charting new worlds with those iconic star dates? If the Enterprise stumbled across Gliese 3618, you just know they'd scan it for life and probably name a shuttle after it. So why should you care about this quiet little star? Because red dwarfs like Gliese 3618 could be our best shot at finding another Earth, and maybe our future home. It's these hidden cosmic gems that could hold the next big discovery. If you want more out-of-this-world space facts, hit that like button, beam up a subscribe, and fire away in the comments. What star should I cover next? Thanks for watching, and remember, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground.